Samsung builds Bitcoin mining rig using old phones. Samsung in number 8217's new upcycling initiative has seen the company repurpose outdated technology for novel and creative utilities, including the construction of a Bitcoin mining rig from out of old smartphones. The in number 8216 upcycling in number 8217 program has seen the company turn 40 used Galaxy S5s into a Bitcoin mining rig although scant technical specifications have been made available regarding the rig. Samsung has reportedly claimed that 8 Samsung Galaxy S5s can mine with superior energy efficiency compared to a standard desktop computer. The mining rig was unveiled during a recent Samsung developer conference held in San Francisco. The rig is the einchild of Samsung's creative lab in number 8211, an internal hub for innovation and development within Samsung that is located at the Samsung Digital City in Korea. Aside from the cryptocurrency mining rig, Samsung program has also seen an old Galaxy table turned into an Ubuntu-powered laptop and a Galaxy S3 smartphone repurposed to monitor a fish tank. The company has also utilized an old phone featuring facial recognition software as the basis for the home security system. Samsung plans to make its upcycling software available to all the company has pledged to make plans for the showcased projects freely available online. In addition to the software that allowed Samsung's Creative Lab to unlock and repurpose old phones, Samsung spokesperson Robin Schultz told Motherboard that the innovative platform provides an environmentally responsible way for old Galaxy mobile devices to eat new life, providing new possibilities and potential extended value for devices that might otherwise be forgotten in desk drawers or discarded. And number 8221. Kyle Weens, Chief Executive Officer of iFixit and number 8211. A company that is involved in repairing Galaxy S3s for Samsung's initiative and number 8211. Has given generous praise to the upcycling program. Weens stated in number 8220. What? Samsung? Built is a layer between the hardware and you being able to install anything you want on it. It in number 8217. S.A. Step lower than jail. E.A. King. It in number 8217. S. Removing Android entirely. Weens describes the initiative as circumventing the challenge with keeping old electronics running. A long time is software. And number 8221. Adding that and number 8220. With phones in particular, the old software is insecure and DOESN and number 8217. T run the new apps. So the question is, if you have this perfectly functional piece of hardware that DOESN and number 8217. T have good software anymore and you want to keep it running for 10 years. How do you do that? And number 8221. Weens describes the project as having the potential to bolster the secondary market value of outdated Samsung devices when states that and number 8220. Samsung wants to maintain the value of their devices long term. If they know they and number 8217 re going to justify a new price of $1,000 for a new note. It in number 8217. S easier to get people to spend that thousand dollars if they can resell it for 500. And number 8221. Samsung currently hosts a placeholder GitHub for the upcycling project. The site is expected to form the basis for a decentralized community built around the innovative repurposing of technology in future in number 8211 through which individuals will be able to access the software required to remove Android before accessing, sharing, and innovating new purposes for and manifestations of outdated technology.